Welcome back to another episode and uh, today we're going to be networking uh, two hummingbirds on the front of a 16 foot John boat. Dual grass on the front of a John boat. Pretty sweet. I love it. I've been fishing with it since uh, Father's, well, Father's Day I got it. I got the 9 and I networked it with an 899 and went out that week, that first weekend which was the 27th and uh, I caught three fish off of a hump using the 9 and my 899 wouldn't work with the 9 because it's so old. So I just use it as a mapping, like for my mapping, and then I use my contours, my Navy X card for the contours. I found a hump, and I just circled this hump. There was one side of the hump was 15 feet, the other side was 10 feet, and then the hump came up to six, and I, I smashed like three fish off this, and then I come back a week and a half later, I catch another one, so I know this is a for sure spot. And I wouldn't have this spot without the hummingbird graphs. They, they help me find this spot. They help me find another spot where I catch another big fish during a tournament. So I've got a couple new spots using these things. They're great. Like I said, I'm a shallow water fisherman. I usually sit in zero to 10 feet, you know what I mean? And I, I catch fish all day there. But ever since I got this, I've been fishing a little deeper and I've been catching good fish doing it. I've caught, like I said, caught me, caught me two nice ones for sure. And then in this video, you're gonna see three in a row I caught right off a hump that I found. So uh, they're definitely worth the 2,500. I wanna thank my wife. She bought the first one. And the set of uh, my 899 didn't work with it. She should. She bought the Helix 7 to go with it. Thank you, best wife in the world. So I got two Helixes on the front of the 16 foot John boat, and it's it's great. I can't can't say enough about them. They're great. But uh, I also want to say that, like I said, my next video will be my personal best. And these graphs had a little bit to do with catching that one. And I got another I got some other videos coming. But uh, before you guys, after you guys get done watching this, stop down in my featured channels and I am featuring a full armor passing. It's a guy named Adam and his sons. They're great. They've been subscribed to me for a long time, always comment on my videos. I appreciate all their support. I try to support them back. So if you guys can stop by, check out their channel. They have a 60 pound blue cat they just caught in today's video that uh, was released. So stop by and check that out, pretty sweet. But let's get into the video and thanks for everybody watching. Helix 9. Got the ram mount for it. Got the cables, the dongles, the trolling motor bracket. We're gonna we're gonna hook up two hummingbirds in the front. Do dual hummingbirds in the front. I'm gonna do them both right here, back to back. You know, one here, one here. So uh we're gonna center them. We're gonna take this one out, we're gonna center it, uh network them together. So they both have Mega Plus, and uh, I can use one on sonar, traditional sonar, and I can use the other one on like down imaging or side imaging. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to get them in there. This old one, which I have underneath my carpet, and we're gonna take all this off. And okay, first complication, my ram out ball is underneath the carpet, but I've got the screws and they're just spinning. It means the bolts underneath are just spinning, so I have to crawl into. I put that on before I made this deck, all the way up in there and hold a wrench it in i had to cut out a stud i had to take out a stud i had to cut out a stud i had to cut out another stud over here right there and then i had to take out another stud right there make a make a long story short i crawled up in that little hole after moving four studs uh and was able to get that out we got that out and got the humming birds in the mounts in the ram mounts in we still gotta hook up the hydro wave. We still gotta run all the power for both units. This was where the old uh, hydro wave was. We're gonna relocate that to, I think, over here. Okay, ran the new power and ground for the the new hummingbird, the front one. Okay, like I said, I'm just trying to be fast with this. If you have any questions, just ask down in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. But uh, this is the new hummingbird, so I had to run. This is the transducer. That's our power. Yeah, that's our power and this last one is our networking cable and on the second one all I'm gonna have is uh, is the power and the networking I'll show you I kind of there you go so um, this one all I have is a power which is this first small one right here with this piece on it and then my networking so the, the second one will not the older fish finder will not have a transduce so next we want to put our dongle connectors together to the ethernet cord so you had to buy all this separate but 
this little dongle is connected to the hummingbird so it gives us this spin piece so we can use the ethernet cord and connect them there's a little there's just a little groove in there if you can see it right there you want to make sure that goes in with the groove on top you just connect them oh, i got it so this one has mega plus it's thousand i think megahertz uh side imaging so we got the new the new mega plus uh side imaging that one just had side imaging so and down but this one has the mega so we upgraded now this one should have everything that one has by networking them together move the hydro wave over i'm liking how it's looking i got my power pole piece right there so you do my power pole up and down the front's decked out now now i have to go and put on a tail light from that guy and Magador, who hit me, had to buy a tail light, and I have to splice these wires and stuff together and do the tail light. So, okay, guys, you guys seen I tried to hook my 899 up to the new Helix 9, but the problem was this is a Gen 3, and that's like a first generation. They couldn't, this one couldn't tell what this transducer was talking about when it was sitting it, so it picked it up like it wasn't there. So I had dual grass for a second but had to get rid of the second one so I'm down to the helix 9 and then I just dropped the 7 next to it so we're sitting on over $2,500 worth of stuff it took me to get these two guys going and there they are I mean it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing so this seven doesn't even come with this this sun protective uh, this protector. It's it was fifty dollars on Amazon. I had to pay extra for that. It just comes like that. But there's the seven, and there's my nine. Okay, so this one didn't have side imaging, but once you do that, uh, you will get side imaging on on this unit. So the first unit you buy, if it has side imaging, you don't need to buy that second one with side imaging. You could just buy it as a is it down or just 2D with a GPS? Whatever you want. But two two hummingbirds. And I took these things out. Both times I took it out. Right when I got the new nine, I took it out with the with my 899 underneath it. I didn't have this one yet because I thought the 899 was gonna work. And uh it didn't work, but we took it out and I ended up using it as a GPS and seeing all my graph. I had my Navionics card in there so I was able to see all my contours on the bottom one and then use my top one for actual sonar or side imaging, whatever I was doing at the time. So that's how easy it is. And I got my lake master up with the contour lines. And I'm just grand with my other side image. It's crazy. I'm seeing stuff down there. Like, those are fish that I can use. Oh, yeah. Nice one, boys. Nice one. Money! <laughs> oh yes, I've seen them down on the graph and there they are, baby. <laughs> That's why we paid the money for that thing right there. Woo! Woo, boys. Two, eight. Two, eight. Two and a half -er.
back on that point right there. So I was using my, even though I can't get my sonar to work on my other one right now, my GPS is working. So I'm using my waypoint and my, I have lake mass so where I can see the, the contour line and I was throwing up on a point. There's like a hump there. I was throwing up on this hump where there's some grass. I was deep down on the graph. I said it. I spun around, started throwing in that area. Normally wouldn't fish out this way, I'd fish that wall with Monty, but 210. 210! Up out here. <laughs> Ooh. Just got out a little hump and just been tearing it up three in a row right now, boys. That's why you, you go with the Hummingbird electronics, man. I'm having a little issue with my finding my, seeing my sonar on my second one, but I'm sure I can get that taken care of. I, I think I need an update. That's 2-5. Two 2-5! Five. Two five. Look at the bellies on those boys. Feeling good out here, brother. Feeling good. Nice one. Nice one, look at that belly. 
Three pounds, five ounces. That is on the 2.5 square bill. Nice one. 